I'm Sam F.F. Chin, uh, the first generation of uh, Ely Chen. Um, uh, this is my family art. My father is Chen Li Kyung, is from Malaysia. Uh, so this art here I've been learning from very young, uh, when I was 14 years old. So by, by the time that I'm 20, uh, nine, uh, on, on 19 years old, on 20 years old, we uh, fought some tournaments in, uh, in Malaysia. Uh, so in, uh, in, when I was 20, 38 years old, I moved to United States. Uh, the system of Ilichan is, is built of three parts. That, uh, the first part is of uh, philosophy, concepts, and principles. The uh, second part is of unifying yourself. And third part is unifying with your opponent. Uh, this whole set of uh, Systems built up with the full set of curriculum is done in the United States. That when I was in, uh, in Chongyan Monastery in Kent, New York, uh, under my 10 years working around the temple, meeting the monk, all different monks, uh, that I able to understand how the mind works with the body, that I come to realize the, the bigger pictures of, uh, of the mind. That is the awareness. So, uh, so my system is very in-depth with Zen philosophy and Tai Chi concepts. Um, so in a in philosophy, we have six physical points, three mental factors, one field. Right. In six physical points, we, we talk about how to recognize our physical body. Recognizing first is relaxation. Second is a center of gravity force. Uh, third is alignment. Fourth is center of mass. Fifth is the force field of defense and offense. And the sixth is the spinning force of coordination. Now with this, we have three mental factors. The mental factor is that we must be in the present, formless and neutral. With this uh, physical and mental that unify, that we need to attain the feel of suchness. The feel of suchness. That means the feel as it is. That is about the, um, the Zen concepts and also the, uh, the Tai Chi, the way as it is. So, um, in frankly speaking, so with Zen concept and Tai Chi, uh, there is nothing much to learn because it's the way and it's just like this. So our training process is important to recognize that uh, the way how to train. So, um, so the, our training process is only to recognize and to realize and not to imitate or accumulate. Now, because if, if you accumulate or imitate, it just builds another habit or build up all the, the egos that, that is the past from accumulations. Um, that is not about Zen or Tai Chi. About Zen and Tai Chi is about the, the moment, the process of how you penetrate to the situation at that moment itself. 
So recognizing the, the action and reactions, the cause and effect, how it evolves. So it's about the process. So in other words, you can say that is to able to change with the change. So, so in order to do that, you see, the first things that um, we want to recognize is how to maintain the consciousness that you can flow and able to recognize uh, the moment. So, uh, so it comes down into uh, how to be mindful or aware. So this is the tools. This is the tools that you need to, to look into things. So with these tools, so we look into our, our body, our feeling, our mind, and the nature. So this is the four things that we study. So we said that uh, uh, you must know where to study in order to win the war. You must, you see. You know. So that means uh, you must, you, if you have a sword, you must know where to fight in order to win the war. All right, now, looking in the body is about looking into our, um, our structure, our muscle, our tendons, and ligaments, and then up to the skin. So uh, structure is about the, the posture, the strength, right, that, that hold the bodies. So when you evolve into the skin, it turns the sensitivities, the sensitivities part. So uh, in other words, we say that we learned the four elements, that is uh, the earth, water, fire, and air. We need to recognize the interrelationship of this. And then we need to learn the feeling. Now, the feeling, first of all, we have only three kinds of feeling. You like, you don't like, you don't know. So recognizing this feeling, then you only can go above this three feeling that to recognize the feeling as such. Um, so, but this need, um, that I said, you need a, a right state of mind to look into things, right? Then, then the next part is understanding the mind, the how the mind, the thought, that, that, uh, that pop up, what kind of thought is that, all right? And also understand we, the condition is that now, so we say that um, understanding the, the body is through understanding the, the breathing. The breathing is the condition of the body. The feeling is the condition of the mind. So, so from here, we look into this kind of process of, 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 of recognizing how things relate and how things affect each other. So from understanding this uh, philosophy and concepts, so we have the unifying part. The unifying part, we have the 15 base exercise. 15 base exercise, each, each exercise uh, will, will teach you a feel, a feel of each exercise. That, that will create, a, I wouldn't say creations, it will give you a field that build up a block, a block that understanding the mechanism of the body, the limits of the body. And then 15 minutes exercise, from recognizing 15 minutes exercise, we continue to do the form. We have 21 form and butterfly form. The 21 form is is a continuation move off the balance of the body, a balance of yin and yang with three dimension. All right, and, and next we do the butterfly form that we could able to release power, All right? How to generate power. 
Then with that, then the, the, when that we go into the next step that is unifying with the partner. Unifying partner, the very important things that we do, the spinning hand. We call the spinning hand that we go around, evolving around with the partner. That I will show later that uh, how we spin. We have eight spins. Spinning hand is to recognize how to align the force to the point of contact and able to recognize the changing point of contact. Right. And then the next one is the sticky hand. Sticky hand we divide it into upper hand and lower hand. But sticky hand is, is to recognize how to control a point of contact and neutralizing a point of contact that you could uh, off-balance opponent or attack opponent or china as you wish or you can kick or strike you see All right then <clears throat> so so from the um, learning this we evolve another training with the china so the china is to help to enhance on our on our sticky hand or or enhance in our sparring so the last process is about the the sanda about how to spar how to recognize to use the exercise for for free sparring so uh, so through our uh, utmost of everything here practically is to recognize yourself is to use how to use yourself and um, and it's important part is that uh, the system itself is not to build up the system it's a system that build up who you are and recognizing the mental and physical and be a and be a better person thank you